Hello everyone, welcome back. It's, uh, it's that time again, I suppose. Uh, I have been very busy. We are currently just above the grotto, I think. Wait a minute, is this the wrong place? Is it the wrong forest? Oh shit. Anyway, um, I was just going to drop off the couponuts, but I might just wait now because... Uh, is it that forest? I've just... <sighs> I have been leveling up in that very same place where the Grand Dragon spawns all the time. But I flew away to do some healing at the inns and now I've lost it, so... <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, I have been very busy. Shall we... Uh, first of all, let's take this opportunity to explore the airship. Because uh, we need to talk to this guy to change our party members in a minute. Uh, as you can see, Zidane and Quinna have leveled considerably compared to everyone else. Because um, I really... well, I can't take Zidane out of my party for one thing. Um, and Quinna has been the sole source of damage against the Grand Dragons, of course. Uh, so, they gained more levels. But, I did kill... well, I left Zidane dead for some of the fights just so everyone else will get more experience, but um, we have so well. I suppose not really with Freya or Amaranth, they've learned a few things, but not too many. Uh, it's just level-wise for them, but as you'll soon see, Vivi, Dagger, and Steiner have, and, and Acorn, sorry, have learned quite a few new abilities, and it's going to take ages to go through them all. So, I might just wait, because there is a point in the game soon when we will have a chance to show off everyone's, uh, well, some of the new abilities. Everyone will have the time to shine. Um, so yeah, you can talk to everyone in the airship. And I will always see the same sky. Aww. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This music is just... I love it. I love it. Yes, I would like to change. Right, so, Amaranth and Frey, level 40, 41. Let's, um, Vivi's level 42, Dagger's 43, Steiner 40, and Acorn 40. So I just wanted everyone above 40. I could have really gone overboard. I, I mean, to be honest, I think I have done already. Um, but, I just thought that was a good number. I don't know if I'm overleveled or underleveled. I'm probably more overleveled than anything, but yeah. Let's get um... I don't know. I think we'll have Dagger in our party for a little bit. And VV. Because he has some new spells to show off anyway. Dagger's got some new summons. But I will be changing my party quite a few times anyway, so Godspeed! Thank you, crew member. I'm gonna call you... Are you a dude? Yes, you are a dude. <laughs> Sideburns. Um, Dilwyn. Yeah, Dilwyn the crew member. Some fancy machinery going on. Yeah, it kind of does. It kind of does. Imagine that thing's quite warm. The engine is working fine. Good. I think there might be... Is there, an, is there any items on this airship I can pick up? Freya and Vivi hanging out. I wonder if Bermesia would have been more prosperous with airship technology similar to Lindblom's. Would it have caused more strife? I don't know. I love windmills! I hate heights, but windmills are great! I, yeah, Vivi, cool! That's a nice callback to Darley's windmill. Whoa, that's loud. Amaranth, what are you doing here? It's nonsense. I don't know, maybe maybe by the end of the game you will have changed your uh, opinion. Who knows though, who knows? Right. Ooh, what's that? Oh, a tent! There we go, so there was something. Maybe there's... Well, it's locked. That's a strange, mysterious hatch. Maybe we'll get a chance to explore it soon? at some point. I honestly don't know what it is. Don't remember it at all. So 
sorry, I'm ruining the music, I really am. No, I don't want to... No, it's a day. What are you doing? I actually uh, finished work, it's Friday night. Uh, it's, ooh, it's probably about half ten. Closer to eleven by now, probably. I have spent the last hour and a half grinding. Just doing stuff, you know, preparing. And the reason I didn't record sooner is because I had a bit of a nap that turned into a three-hour nap. Yeah, you heard me right. That was insane. I must have needed it. It's been a long, long week. Right, what should we do then? Because I was going to do some friendly monster stuff. Uh, I did mention the side quest for Steiner. You know what? We might try and do that now. I reckon, because we are sort of close to Treno. Aren't we? Where's Treno? There it is. Just want to check out the auction house. There might be something we need to buy or... Ooh, no, I think we might need to sell some stuff to the various nobles, don't we? And then we have to buy stuff again, rebuy it if we want the uh, the treasure hunt rank, I think. To be honest, I don't have the greatest memory of this little quest, but I do know in the end we will be able to get ourselves a new sword for Steiny Boy. Do 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 who isn't in our party right now, of course. Um, how do I get to the auction house? Is it this way? Yeah, it is. Um, I don't want to go this way, though, actually. I think I need to go near the cafe. Near the synthesis shop and the... card queen. I, I have a bit of a confession. I've completely forgotten. The reason I'm not doing the friendly monsters thing right now is, um, oh, so we want to sell the Une's, Une's mirror to this dude? Um, usually, I think you can barter a little bit, get a bit more money, but it's not really an issue for me, so. Oh, thank you. I think. I'm just not sure if we can sell two things to that dude. Anyway, just going to talk to a bunch of people, see if they want to buy anything from me. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, friendly monsters. I reckon... We still have a few more to find, obviously, but I can't remember which ones I've actually done already. I think the last one I remember finding was the Nymph. But... Yeah, apart from that, I don't really know which ones I've found and which ones I haven't. Um, so... And that, you know, if I wanted to go back and check, that would involve me watching my own videos back. And of course, they pop up at random points. I don't really want to uh, want to do that, so... I was thinking... I don't know, I'm checking this shop, we've got everything. I was thinking maybe I'd just... find the ones that I know I haven't got, and then any ones that we still are missing, hopefully... I'll have figured it out by then, and we can just clear them up. But probably gonna end up doing that on disc 4, I reckon. I don't see any need for it right now. So, yeah. Just forget the friendly monster stuff, unless, you know, we randomly come across one. Um, I don't really know where the rest of these nobles are. I thought there was one that you sold two things to. Hello? Oh, you, you want the Griffin's Heart, right? Uh, no way. 10,000, that seems fair. I can't remember what I spent on it. Come back! Come back! Oh, you don't have anything to say to me. Hmm. So that's two of the items sold. I know we have to sell Doga's artifact. Oh, he wants the rat tail. 20,000, no way. 25k, sounds good. So maybe he was the one we sold two items to, of course. Bum, 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 bum. Waitress doesn't want to buy anything. Um, I swore there was one more dude we wanted to sell to. And I thought it was in this area. I'm not 100% sure now. Hmm. I wonder. Because what we have to do, we have to sell those items to these people, and then 
I think an item called a magical fingertip will appear in the auction house. So... Thief gloves, eh? Interesting. If that's true, there's no chance in the world I could ever afford to buy it. You never know, if other people spend money buying other items, it could be cheaper. Oh, we've spoke to you guys. I just thought maybe I could sell them the item from, from upon the second floor. Just toss it down to them. Right, well... Feck, I don't know where the next guy is. Unless that's all the items we have to sell. I thought... Hmm... Thought we definitely had to sell the Doga's artifact. Yeah, I reckon we do. I just need to find who wants to buy it, but who is it going to be? I'm going to have to look this up. I don't want to be running around Treno just talking to every poor fecker that walks by. Yeah, give me one moment, please. Aha! It is this guy, the Scholar. Oh, you have Doga's artifact. 10,000? No way! Oh, shit. Okay, we can't get any more money from him. <laughs> He's a, well, I suppose a Scholar wouldn't have too much money. Been looking all over for it. Right, now, the question is, can I buy the magical fingertip from the auction house, or do I need to speak to the dude in uh, Daguerreo before it'll uh, appear? I don't know. If I'm brutally honest with you, I really don't know. I can't remember if I spoke to the dude that I needed to back when I was at the library. I might have done, but I don't remember. So we're just gonna check out the auction house if, uh, if it has what we want. And that's great. If not, I will have to meet you back in uh, that hidden library full of water and books. So, the items are... Rat Tail, well, Doga's Artifact, Boon's Mirror, and the Thief Gloves. Hmm. Now, can I... I would, have, I would have thought I could still... It doesn't matter if I buy them back now, it's the fact that I have sold them, so... Maybe we should just wait a bit on these? Yeah, I think I will do. You've seen all this anyway, so I'm just gonna cut to when I've got all the items I need. Well, I've rebought all those items I've sold. And I, the magical fingertip just was not appearing, so I'm guessing you need to trigger actually talk to the guy first, and I must not have done it. So at least we're back here now, we can f just check if we missed any items or anything, which I'm sure I did. I just don't know. For certain. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you're down here now, are you? Um... I don't think it'll have changed. Oh wow! I ha it has? Oh sweet! Rank S! Pardon me for my rudeness. What is it with that guy? Wait a minute. Hey! Are you not supposed to give me something? Where's he gone? Oh there he is. Hey, I'm sorry for talking uh, big earlier. To be honest, I'm not famous or anything. I'm just a Lose a rank D treasure hunter, really? But someday I'm gonna become a rank S treasure hunter like yourself. Just wanna become stronger, you know? So no one will push me around and call me forearms anymore. We got a rank S medal! Take care. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, tell me your name. Gilgamesh! I'm gonna be famous one day, so don't you forget it. Yes, you will, sir. That is Gilgamesh, who, of course, appeared in Final Fantasy V and has uh, since appeared in numerous games in the series. He, uh, he travels between dimensions, I think, collecting weapons, mostly. But that's cool that he was in this and uh, a nice way of discovering <clears throat> who he is. So we are <laughs> a rank ass treasure hunter. I'm glad I came back here now. Anyway, so that was done. That was a nice surprise. But yeah, the rank S medal, let's just have a quick look at it. Don't know if it does anything. 
The owner of this medal is certified as a rank S treasure hunter by the Treasure Hunter Guild. So yeah, not much else really, is there? But hey, that's uh, bragging rights right there. So I just need to find this bastard scholar who's after the magical fingertip. Sorry, I just like talking to Noggy because of his name. I just can't remember where this guy is. That's Z-Bolt. Spoken to you. Never did figure out if I could get a card from one of these guys, did I? Whatever. Bum, 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 bum. It's not you. Oh, hang on. This ladder feels kind of damp. Go down. Yes. I think he was in the way before, but now we can... Oh, look. A new area. Ah. In fact, the guy might be here. Uh, book lover. I love book... No. No way. Especially the old ones. I appreciate everything about them. The authors, the publishers, the readers. I like uh, I like the smell of old books. I'm doing research on a legendary man. He had the power to restart people's lives. Hey, that's the naming way card. Um, you better not take it, because I, I only have one. I'm stoked with imagination. I'm inspired to create. I have just mastered the naming way technique. Now let me rename one of you. Oh! Oh wow, you can actually rename a character. I never actually, I don't think I've ever done this before. That's crazy. Um, well I don't really want to. Ooh. You know what, people have bitched about it. Quinna is now going to be forever known. Collider. Collider returns. There we go. People are going to be happy at that. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. Oh, hello. What's this? An elixir. Sweet. Um, so I guess you could just keep on talking to him if you want to rename all your characters, maybe. That's uh, it's more too interesting. Uh, spoken to you. I'm sure, unless it's the other side that I need to go to. Jeez, so many books. What should I read first? I don't know. Move! Thank you. It's over here. An elixir. Where the hell is this dude that I need to speak to that wants a magical fingertip? Where, goddammit? I thought you were supposed to be here somewhere. Unless... Can you not do it on this disc? Is it only disc four? Surely not. Hmm... Well, at least... It wasn't completely pointless coming back here, of course. We got a few items, got... Uh, got Collider back in our party, but... Just bear with me one moment. Oh, man, I'm such an idiot. I thought you could do Steiner's Excalibur Sword quest. Um on disc 3, but you you can only do so much of it. The magical fingertip part is on disc 4. So, yeah. That was a nice bit of waste time. Well, not really. We've... Well, we wasted a little bit of time. But anyway, we got a coupon up to give to this, uh, this little dude. And a phoenix pinion. So, yeah. Pretty crappy. But at least we got to see the little Moogle babies again. Little Moogle babies. And listen to this kick-ass music again. It's dangerous outside. Pfft. Have you seen our level, dude? We got a character that's over level 50. Yeah, so, you know. Right, um, so, a lot of my side quest stuff has either been postponed until disc 4, or oh, there's not much else we can do. I mean, I could check on the marshes again, see if any more frogs have spawned, but I might just wait until the next disc for that as well. So, should we go do some uh, the next story section of the game? I reckon we can probably do that now. Yeah, I reckon we will. 
So, Ibsen's Castle awaits. A very interesting dungeon. Very, very cool. Love the design of it. Love it. It's got a bit of a gimmick, you could say, but it's, it's kind of cool. It's also going to be a pain in the ass if I don't have the necessary equipment for it. We'll soon find out, won't we? So, let's land ourselves here. What a strange looking structure. It's kind of like, uh... The castle is upright and upside down at the same time. Right, this location is very, very weird. Right. Anyway, I'll wait until we get inside before I ch start changing everyone's equipment. Oh, do I want these party members? Ew, I don't... You know what? I did say I wanted to show off some new spells with Vivi, but I might just uh, get Steiner or Freya in the party instead. Maybe? Yeah, I might do. Sorry, Vivi. Uh, Freya. Uh, should I have Dagger in the party? I suppose I should really have a healer. Yeah, we'll keep Dagger in. We'll have Freya in the party for a little bit. Right then, in we go. Cool looking. Yeah, like it's upside down. Hmm. I wonder. Alright, I'll take three of you in with me. The rest of you secure this spot. <laughs> that really makes no sense. Hey, Zidane. Oh, uh, here we go. I work alone. Always have, always will. Well, you haven't always, because you've been working with us for the past god knows how long. Why the sudden d dickery? What what is this? What's your point? I'm saying working alone beats working in a team any day, and I'm going to prove it. So maybe we won't be able to choose Amaranth for this anyway. Oh, a bit of a challenge, eh? A bit of a challenge. I accept. You selfish, ignorant fool. Yeah, that's that's pretty rich coming from Steiner. Um, calm down, Rusty, calm down. Doo doo, doo doo. Um, fuck it, let him go. I don't care. Yeah, you do what you want. Well, aren't you an agreeable fellow? I try to be. You know, see you later. Maybe. I don't, I don't really care, I really don't. I mean, Amaranth's pretty cool in battle, but he's. he's not needed right now. Get going. We'll beat Amaranth at his own game. So, oh, it would have given me the chance to change party members anyway. Um, part of me wants to take Steiner in for some reason, but I really, I don't know. Huh. Now nah, we'll keep it as it is. Uh, I've always liked this screen. I don't know why. It almost reminds me of Remium Temple in FF10. Again, I'm not really sure why. Maybe because it's there's no actual music uh, at the entrance. Like, I don't think there is in Remium Temple. Anyway, that's pointless bullshit I'm talking about. Ibsen's Castle. Now, this place is very unique. Creepy-ass music. But any weapon you have, if it's if it's really strong attack-wise, it's actually going to be incredibly weak here. I'm not sure if that's the same for defensive items, I honestly can't remember, but because of that, we're going to equip our weakest weapons. Um, unfortunately, that means Freya's going to lose some of these abilities. Cherry Blossom, I don't even know what that does. Um, she's got tons of new weapons to equip, and as you can see, the dragon's hair, I think that might be her best weapon. Because Dragon Breath is a freaking amazing ability. Um, 
We still gotta learn Dragon's... Or is it Dragon's Crest that's better? One of the two. Anyway, um... Let's give her a javelin. Now, does it matter magic-wise what we equip for dagger? I'm just gonna equip the rod anyway. And, um... Collider. <laughs> You're gonna equip the fork. Now, all is not lost if you've sold those weapons before and you can't be asked to go and buy them again. Uh, because the chests in this place tend to have weak weapons in them anyway. It's just a matter of finding them and... As you can see, we just get a dra uh, a dragger. What's a dragger? <laughs> um, a dagger, straight away. But there is in here. Another chest. Is this the... Yeah, no, the Stelazio, the Aquarius. I tend to get lost in this place, just warning you. Not sure if I've ever really explored this place fully. Uh, do not be restricted by your knowledge and experience. This place turns logic upside down. What's big is small, what's strong is weak, and heaven is earth. So yeah, a nice little uh, hint there at what this place is all about. It's very, very strange, but I do like it. Kamul, do I have a letter for you? I do. How unusual. I'm so happy, Kupo. Hey, Kamul. How are you, Kupo? You, us Moogles in Lindblom are all wondering the same thing these days. Where the heck is Mognet Central? I know. No one knows, Kupo. No, I do. Um, do you know where it is, Kamul? It's supposedly very far away. You can't enter very easily. Well, that's true. If you don't have a, a drugged-up chocobo, you're going to be screwed. Yeah. Oh, great, another coupon up. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, look, you can buy semi weak weapons here. They're not the weakest you can get, of course, but better than nothing, I suppose. Doo, 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 doo. No new armor there, so. Uh, I'm gonna buy a few vaccines, because I think some enemies in this place might inflict whatever that cures virus, yeah. Apart from that, I think we're okay. Buy a few more high potions. Right. Do you have a letter to deliver at all? No? Okay then. Suit yourself. Um, dee -doo -doo -doo. I know there's some trap doors in this place, as you can probably see. But they're not opening right now. Cat's Claws. Uh, do we go down the Fireman's Pole, or do we go somewhere else first? Right, so... Um, I think we can learn... Is this...? Oh no, no, this isn't the enemy I'm thinking of. What is this thing? Well, you know what? We're going to show off some new summons, because we are learning... Well, we've learned Odin. Learned Ifrit's. And we are learning Bahamut, but we'll save him for last. So let's show off... You know, I don't think we've shown off many summons with, uh, with Dagger. Let's, let's try it for it first. Can't remember which ones uh, we've seen and which ones we haven't. Cerberus we're fighting. Oh, he looks mean. Oh, that was really nice damage as well. Wow. Firaga. Oh, it wasn't too bad. So that. Christ. Yeah, uh, there's an enemy in here that we can learn an enemy skill from, but it's not this one, so I'm just going to kill it. Still kicking. All right, let's show off. Uh, let's let's see Odin.
death. Yeah, instant kill on anything that's not immune to uh, instant kill. Odin just looks so badass. He really does. In every game, pretty much. Even though I wasn't too keen on his design in 13, but then again, all of those summons were a little bit weird. Do, 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 do. I guess we'll go down the pole. Oh, so there's a chest on top of that upside down chandelier type thing. It's all gone topsy turvy. I really don't know where to go. Ah, there's a ladder. There would be a ladder! 